Right guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, I am going to watch Isaiah Thomas. And I have absolutely no fucking clue who he is. And I didn't honestly believe that any player was going to come on this apparent top 30 list and that I wouldn't actually recognize the name. But this is a name that I don't recognize. So there we go. I say, I say, I say uh, Jeez, I wouldn't even... I hate to think how badly I tried to pronounce that name. Either way, Isaiah Thomas is apparently the 28th best NBA player of all time. And I'm going to be reacting to him today. But not for long, hopefully. Zeke's legacy. Zeke. I um, have no idea what that's about. Zeke's legacy has been somewhat tarnished over the years by the opinions of his peers and the off-the-court off issues he brought on himself while in the Knicks' front office. However, there's no denying what he did on the court. As a leader on two of the most hated championship teams in NBA history. The bad boys wreaked havoc on the NBA's holy trinity of Magic Johnson, Larry Bird and Michael Jordan. And most of the damage that was done was on the orders of the six foot one point god. Not point guard, point god. Detroit won back to back championships in the middle of what many call the toughest era of NBA basketball and made Jordan scratch and claw for years before he finally got the balls over the hump. Jeez, I didn't know that. I did not know that. So that's in the late eighties. Thomas was a diabolical general who was able to score whenever he wanted and put his team on the on his back to will them to victory. He's still in the top five in assists. He averaged 13.9 assists per game. What? 13.9 assists per game in 85 and still gets under MJ's skin. Zeke. Still not completely sure why he's called Zeke. Uh, not being on the Dream Team is the biggest snub ever. And the Dream Team is the 1992 Olympic Dream Team. Is that right? No exaggeration, but he rightfully earned a spot on the NBA 75 team. And I have absolutely no idea what that means. But... Regardless of that, guys, I come into this absolutely, you know, pretty much fresh. Uh, the last NBA season I watched was 2006. And with that in mind, let's go to YouTube and look up... Well, it's not Zeke, but it is Isaiah? Isaiah? Isaiah Thomas highlights. Let's go. Well, here we go. First video, that's... that's the way we're doing this... Actually, that's fucking good quality. I ain't gonna lie, that's that's extremely good quality. That's way too good quality to be in the 80s. Not quite sure how they've done that, but either way, let's go. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I am really, 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 really sorry, guys. I've just absolutely done him dirty here. Um, it's not Isaiah Thomas. It's Is 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 Isaiah Thomas. Until I'm impressed. Until I'm impressed. Well, he's no Dwight Howard. Don't mind a bit of huss huss. Oh yeah, a bit of an alley oop. No, uh, what do we got? Bang! Come on, bang! No, no. Oh yeah, a bit of a fade away, fade away jumper. But um, okay, so he's all about the alley oops. He's six foot one. Let's be fair. Is that against Shaq? Is that Shaquille O'Neal? If I knew that, you know, if I knew. Um, All right, well, I suppose I'm impressed. <laughs> In an NBA game, you know, not only going from the logo, but going from the, uh, well, from behind the half. I mean, that's, that's, uh, well, you've got to be impressed with that, right? Was I impressed? Nah, let's watch some more. Ooh. Drains it? Nah, I tell you what, I'm impressed. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. 